Today I want to talk about something pretty interesting that was brought up by Ray Ferraro yesterday on TSN Radio regarding the Toronto Maple Leafs and them possibly making a trade with the Detroit Red Wings. Now, obviously take this with a grain of salt. This wasn't Ray Ferraro reporting on any rumors or anything like that. This was basically just Ray Ferraro bringing up an idea that he thinks could potentially make sense. Now, obviously with the news coming out of Toronto that Morgan Riley and Jake Muzzin are both going to miss a significant amount of time due to injury, that leaves them in a pretty tough spot spot because obviously that decor wasn't anything special even with those guys in the lineup but now losing your two best defensemen that puts them in a really tough spot right now I'm going to quickly read off one of the things that Ray Ferrar brought up and that's kind of going to be the main discussion point for this video he said what if you can trade for Bernie and Daly from the Red Wings that was kind of the main thing there because obviously bringing in a veteran defenseman like Trevor Daly who has won a Stanley Cup before definitely could help the depth of that decor with these injuries especially he's not a guy who you can throw out there for top four minutes anymore but he can be a reliable defenseman especially on a better team like Toronto and then obviously them acquiring Jonathan Bernier would be huge he doesn't have great numbers this year he's got a 904 save percentage and a 2.99 goals against and sure those numbers don't jump out at you but he's playing on the worst team in the NHL and gets little to no help every time he's in the net and me being a Wings fan I watch every single game and he's actually having a really good year all things considered he has accounted for 10 of Detroit's 12 wins on the season he has already had a stint in Toronto. Sure, it wasn't the greatest, but I think now he'd be a very serviceable backup to Frederick Anderson. Definitely a lot more reliable than Michael Hutchinson. And as opposed to Trevor Daly, who would most likely just be a rental for Toronto because his contract is up after this season, Jonathan Bernier is actually signed through next year as well at $3 million. So he wouldn't even be a rental. He is someone who could back up Frederick Anderson for the remainder of this season and through next year as well. Jeff O'Neill also chimed in on the situation and said that the Detroit Red Wings should include Mike Green, but I feel like that definitely would make the trade a little bit more complicated and difficult to happen just because Mike Green has a cap of $5.375 million till the end of this season. And even though he is an up and coming UFA, it still would be difficult for Toronto to bring him in. They'd have to unload a lot more cap space going back the other way to Detroit. So while yes, I'm sure they would prefer to get Mike Green over Trevor Daly, he's definitely the better player right now. I think it is more realistic that we see something like this happen with Daly as opposed to Mike Green. And the player that Ray Ferraro suggested that goes back to Detroit is Kasperi Kapanen. Now, obviously, I don't think there's a chance we'd see just a two-for-one swap daily and Bernier for Kasperi Kapanen because realistically, any hockey fan knows that's not a fair trade whatsoever. If Toronto were to make that move, it would definitely show how desperate they are to bring in a backup goaltender and a defenseman. Kasperi Kapanen is a young up-and-coming player, while Trevor Daly is definitely on the back end of his career and Jonathan Bernier is most likely just a backup goaltender. But the Leafs do have a plethora of young talent and they definitely definitely could afford to trade a guy like Kasperi Kapanen, but even still, I think they would want a little bit more in return. Detroit would definitely have to at least throw in like a second round pick, in my opinion, to make a deal like this work. They also brought up in this conversation that acquiring Kasperi Kapanen would then make trading away Andreas Athanasiu a lot easier, and that is definitely something I can get behind. So it is definitely going to be interesting to see how this all plays out, or if anything even comes of this. This is kind of just a discussion video, not a rumor video at all. I just thought it would be an interesting talking point. Kyle Dubas definitely is a very active GM though and whenever he sees an opportunity to improve his team right now I think he's going to do that and with the injuries to Morgan Riley and Jake Muzzin I definitely think it is likely that we see the Maple Leafs make some type of trade whether it's a major one or a minor trade I think something's going to happen and Detroit is definitely a team that are going to be major sellers leading up to the trade deadline they're not going to finish anywhere near the playoffs and I definitely think there are still some useful players on the team that would benefit a contender way more than they would benefit the current Red Wings and me as a Red Wings fan I would love to see Kasperi captain in a Red Wings uniform and then like they said on TSN radio that would definitely open up the opportunity to trade away Athanasiu and make that a lot easier and I think Athanasiu could definitely fetch an interesting package in return as well. So that is pretty much going to wrap up this video. It was only a quick one but it was definitely something that I wanted to talk about and remember to take this with a grain of salt because it's not a rumor video or anything like that. It's basically just a discussion that was brought up by Ray Farrow and the guys on TSN radio that I thought was interesting and since I am a Red Wings fan I wanted to kind of give you guys my thoughts on it and make sure to let me know your guys thoughts down in the comment section below if you have any mock trades feel free to comment them down there as well and just your overall thoughts on the situation especially with the two injuries that the Leafs sustained on the blue line what do you think is going to happen and do you think Kyle Dubas is going to make a trade here in the near future and with all that being said I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video if you did please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content and I will see you guys on tomorrow's video